Okay, so since you agree na i-record tong online class natin, I started recording our online class. Now, allow me to share my screen so that we can already start. Okay. So, last na nag-meet tayo. Okay, last time na nag-meet tayo. Let's have a review first, no? Ayan. So, last na nag-review tayo is... Ito. Okay. Since this is our uh, fifth meeting, uh, we, 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 we discussed uh, overview of ICT, hardware, peopleware, software, and, and of course, yung data representation last time. And medyo yun din natin yung data representation. No? So today, we're going to discuss the computer networks. Then after that, we'll be giving, or I'll be giving you your uh, final project so that you can already start with your final project para at least medyo matagal na. And of course, sa susunod na meeting natin, we will have your hypertext markup language or your HTML topic. Okay? So, let's let's move now to page 105. By the way, do you have any questions regarding doon sa data representation natin? May questions pa tayo doon? Um, Wala naman. Okay. So, your internet is unstable. Sorry kung bigla nag-off yung ano, camera ko. Okay lang pa. Okay. So, computer networks. So, what are the learning outcomes of our computer networks? So, after successful completion of this lesson, you should be able to describe various network topologies or ano-ano ba yung mga network topologies that we have? Ano ba yung mga kalimitan ginagamit when it comes to computer shop, uh, sa school, sa companies or sa business, and, and any other form of businesses na pwedeng gamitan na network topologies? Evaluates uh, network services, designs network topology. So, ano ba yung mga pwede natin i-design na network topology and gaano ba ka-effective on having your network topology? Manipulates internet services, determine different types of website and display awareness in utilization of internet services. Kasi ngayon, namulat na tayo sa, sa generation na kung saan. Okay, internet is given na internet Basta mag-search ka ng ganito, okay na, ganito, ganyan. But dati, before you access your internet, of course, uh, pinapaalala muna talaga kung para saan ba yung internet, ano yung mga dapat mong isearch sa internet, ano yung mga pwede at hindi mo pwedeng gawin through na internet and especially internet services. Ngayon, pati uh, nan, ano tawag dito? Kahit hindi ka technically knowledgeable, yung iba, ah, okay, ganito on para malaman mo yung 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 wifi ng kapitbahay mo, ganito yung gawin mo. Okay? So there are there are a lot of uh, tricks to be able for you to do that. But is that really good for everyone? Syempre, you have to ask yourself. Kasi dati talaga hindi naman talaga libre yung internet eh. Hanggang ngayon naman hindi rin siya libre until such time na pumasok sa DICT na libre yung internet doon sa entire campus. Okay? So, ano na ba yung mga dapat nating i-utilize when it comes to the awareness of internet services? So, let's have the overview of the computer networks. Of course, since the start of 21st century, ayan, internet usage has been increasingly rapidly than ever before. That's right. Kasi nung mga panahong 1960s, 70s, 80s, wala eh. Hindi naman talaga siya totally uh, uh, mabilis yung 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 progress or yung innovation when it comes to internet pumasok lang yan by the year of 2000 onwards kasi i, I remember that's 1998 or 1995 when mistaken talagang dial up pa lang yung ginagamit talagang without, po yun eh mm -hmm, that's right without telephone hindi ka talaga pwedeng makapagpa connect ngayon it's your choice kung gusto mong merong internet connection plus phone Okay, if, but if you don't want na merong phone or if you don't want na na lagyan pa ng phone yung ano tawag dito, yung yung internet mo ay okay lang din. So definitely, ang gusto mo lang talaga is the internet services. 
Okay, pero hindi nila matanggal, 'di ba? Hindi matanggal yung phone kasi importante pa rin yung phone for other purposes. Okay? Kasi that's also a means of communication. Okay. So many people are now using it as their gateway to information, of course. Uh Paano ba magluto ng ganito? Uh, paano ba Paano ko ba pupunta sa ganitong lugar? Paano ko ba mag -e edit ng ganito? Ako honestly, habang nag -e edit ako ng video, especially kagabi, uh, lagi ako nagtatanong sa YouTube, paano ba gawin to? Paano ba gawin yung ganyan? Kasi, yung alam mo dati, okay, pwedeng nagbago na yun ngayon. Depending on the innovation and progress na ginawa ng isang software. Okay, so habang nag -e edit ako, lagi ako sa search, bakit kaya ayaw na gumanda nito? Okay? Tapos manually, ito yung ginagawa ko. Wala pang... Uh, automatically magaganito yung mga ginagawa ko. So, yung mga yon eh, anong tawag dito? Magandang way na. Okay? Okay? So, this is a get gateway of your information. The internet is now becoming a major source of information, communication, and entertainment, replacing and exterminating traditional ways of living. Okay? I guess this is partially true. Okay, kasi this is a major source of uh, information. That's right. Especially ngayon na, alam naman natin, di ba, nagsarado yung ABS-CBN, one of the biggest uh, TV networks in the Philippines. So medyo naubusan tayo ng, nawalan tayo ng information. Okay, so we don't care about their issues, but ayun nga, that's also a major source of information. Communication, of course, aside from the social media apps or different apps that you can use to be able for you to communicate, you also have entertainment. Di ba? Paano ka makakapaglaro ng games without internet? Though, meron namang games talaga na meron din namang walang internet, no? But, of course, there's also games na kailangan ng internet. And of course, yan yung mga role-playing games. Okay? Yan yung mga NFT or yung mga games or play-to-earn games. Ayan. And, replacing and extermi exterminating traditional ways of living. Ito lang medyo nakakalungkot kasi due to internet, marami na rin nagbago. Like, yung mga bata, di mo na may gita sa labas, hindi na masyadong ganito, hindi masyadong ganyan. Okay. So, pag may nakita kayong mga bata na naglalaro pa sa labas, ng ganito, ganyan, that's, ano eh, parang napaka-precious na kasi unti na lang talaga yung gumagawa. Okay. Kaya di ba, Lagi lumalabas na sana bumalik yung Pasko no year 2010 something na ganun. Kasi iba talaga yung mga yung Pasko, iba yung iba't iba ibang event noong 2010 ganyan. Actually habang habang bumababa yung taon kasi syempre pataas tayo ngayon, di ba? 2021 then 2022. Doon marerealize or habang tumataas nga ngayon, kanya-re, kanya-re medyo may edit ka na. Doon mo marerealize na ah, okay. May may mga nagbabago talaga. Okay. And that's uh, that's one of uh, and one of the impact of that is yung internet, okay. Yung iba nga, hindi na namamas ko, hindi na pupunta eh, no? Sa mga bahay-bahay, which tradition na ginagawa na, ah, okay, kapas ko na, makamamas ko ako sa ganito. Ngayon, hindi na. Hindi na. Diba? Namamas ko po, may, may, may Gcash, something na ganito, ganun na yung ginagawa eh. Okay. But sometimes, that's really good also, especially ngayon na meron tayo pa din. So, computer networks are the basis of communication in IT. Ayan. Especially yung mga network admin, okay, network specialist. Yan yung mga sinasabi nila. Eh, di ba sa meme yung mga nagdadasal na kapag holiday, sana hindi masira internet connections. Kasi on call sila. Eh, di ba? Pag nasira yung internet, ay internet connection. Yung computer networks nila, definitely they have to go back to the office. That's one of the major problem of uh, network admin, network administrators, or data network specialists. They're, they are used in a huge variety of ways and can include many different types of network. That's right. A computer network is a set of computers that are connected together Ayan. so that they can share information. An interconnection of multiple uh, devices, also known as hosts, that are connected using multiple paths for the purpose of sending and receiving data or media, computer networks can also include multiple devices, mediums which help in communication between two different devices. So basically, pag sinabi nating interconnection of multiple devices or computer networks, definitely hindi lang yan yung computers or let's say, 
a lot of computers, laptops, cell phones, okay, uh, switches, routers. Those are the devices na meron sila. So, multiple devices yung ginagamit natin. In the Philippines, several individuals and institutions have pioneered in providing ISP or internet services to the people. Who, uh, sorry, ISP is internet service provider. No, sorry, Internet services to people who have natural inclination to computers by the use of low-speed mode of transmission in the late 80s. Ayan, it's after when broadcasting companies step into the internet service provider or ISP business that Philippines finally got the hand of getting word in true world through the use of internet. Ayan. So, nung nag-umpisa nang pumasok yung mga ISP, ayan, medyo nagkaroon na tayo ng speed when it comes to internet. But still, isa pa rin tayo sa pinakamabagal na internet connection dito sa Asia. Okay. Kung dati, ikaw yung pinakamabilis, biglang, ah, okay, ikaw yung pinakamabagal. ba? Diba? Parang dati, we are the uh, ano yun, pinakamabilis when it comes to progress. Okay, tanggang sa biglang bumagal na tayo, ganito ganyan. Again, we don't care about their issues kung ano ba 'yung mga nangyayari doon, but ganun 'yung katotohanan. Okay, sa una tayo magaling. Okay, sa una tayo mabilis. Parang sa internet, pa una tayo mabilis, may may okay, binago-uwiwanan na tayo. Tapos hindi pa free 'yung internet natin, 'di ba? Hindi katulad sa iba na sa ibang bansa na ah, okay, they have the free internet, so on and so forth. Kung meron man is hindi ganun kamahal yung bayad nila. Okay, in this uh, modern age we live, in numerous technologies have been developed for convenience and other purposes. And the development of the website paid a huge significance for education, that's right, business, tourism, etc. Through the use of World Wide Web, students, businessmen, and others the same short, or short found an indispensable tool for the research and taxation. Using the variety of websites, mailing lists, news groups, and chat groups, the world community was... able to find new ways to do all things. Okay? So basically, ang ang punto of discussing this computer network is to be able for us to discuss the different networks na meron tayo, the different devices, and of course, the different websites na nakikita natin. Kasi we know different websites, of course. There are also some websites na hindi ko alam na alam nyo and also have websites na alam ko pero hindi nyo alam. But... With their classifications or categories. Now, we can understand na, ah, okay, this is a business website. Okay, this is a website for ganito. This website is for ganitong purpose. Okay? That's why we have different types of websites. So, a website establishes a business presence as a serious business client expect businesses to have their own webs by since the early development of emails or electronic mails or emails. Um, sa ngayon kasi, um, hindi ko, ano, no, but most probably kasi pag, pag meron tayong website that considers as, ah, okay, this business is uh, legitimate. Okay, kumbaga yun yung nagiging, ano, uh, anong tawag dito, foundation of trust to other people, like, paano ko maniniwala sa company mo kung wala kang website? Kasi most of the time, eh, page yung meron tayo, group, fan page, or business page, yun yung meron talaga sa ngayon. No? Kaya nung pumasok sa si Facebook, ang dami nang nawala sa iba. Pero ang dami rin na mag-gain sa kanila. Kasi nga, there are a lot of uh, things na nangyari when it comes to Facebook. Okay? Kaya sabi nga nila, pag nawala yung Facebook one time, eh, parang ang daming magbabago. Okay. So have you try yung tinatawag nilang yung mga challenge na de detox sa uh, social media, social media detox. At first, okay lang. Yes, maganda talaga. Pero at the end of the day, kapag hindi ka naka-Messenger, hindi ka naka-Facebook kanya, parang there's parang incomplete, no? I mean, hindi naman totally incomplete na ah, okay, sobrang lungkot ganyan ganyan. But you miss out the other information. Kasi doon ka na lang kumukuha ng information ngayon. Eh, no? ba? Diba? Tapos, if we look into right now, parang kakaiba talaga. Kasi, kapag, ako hindi ko sure, no? but I'm just stating a fact na, alibawa TV, television, kapag hindi ka naka-smart or Android TV ngayon, parang ang lungkot ng television mo. Bakit? Kasi wala ka naman totally makukuha ang palabas. ba? Diba? 
yung dati ba bumili pa ng mga black boxes niya ba yung sa ABS-CBN ngayon hindi mo na magamit di ba manonood ka ng television na mapapanood mo lang GMA7 uh, yung sa channel 5 ba yun or whatever yun na lang yung mapapanood natin but okay but if you have your internet connections and your mobile device ano mapapanood natin you can you can watch live yung ang tawag dito yung news, you can watch live yung mga PBB. So, lahat ng yun, pwede pa rin pala. ba? Diba? Ngayon, yung, yung television mo, parang limited na lang talaga. Okay? Hindi ka tulad dati na, ah, okay, pag walang internet, okay lang kasi may, may black box, merong antena na pwede kang manood. Ganyan. Tapos, may ibang, iba pang station na pwede ka mapanooran. Ngayon, parang wala. Hindi. Limited na lang yung choices mo. So, kapag ayaw mo yung palabas, wala ka nang magagawa. Kasi wala ka nang pwedeng paglipatan. Di ba? Now, moving forward, we have your World Wide Web. or is, This is a system of internet service that support formatted documents such as HTML, HXT, XTML, XML, and PHP. So, Tim Berners-Lee, ayan, sabi nga nila, is a uh, British scientist invented the World Wide Web. In 1989, after first connection was established over what is today known as the Internet. So, the Internet is a global interconnection of networks. Okay, always remember that Internet is a global interconnection of networks. That's why kahit sino, kahit sa ibang bansa, you are connected. Kasi this is a global interconnection of networks. So, of course, to be able for us to access most of the internet connection or internet services, we must have the web browser. So, this is a software application used to locate, retrieve, and display content on the World Wide Web, including web pages, images, video, and other files, etc. Okay? Now, we have here a different uh, browser that we have right now. So, or at least mga nagamit natin. So, we have your Camino, of course. These are the description na meron tayo. Of course, the Google Chrome. Hindi mo awala. Been using that one. Or I, I, I guess ako, ginagamit ko ngayon. Pero kapag nakabukas ako ng ibang app like Adobe Premiere, eh, nag edge po ako. Ayan, which is the Microsoft Edge. This one is default na naka-install sa... Anong tawag dito? So Windows, once na nag-install ka ng operating system mo, automatic papasok na yan. Okay. Dati, ang tawag dyan is Internet Explorer. ba? Diba? Tapos laging sinasabi, para saan ba yung Internet Explorer? ba? Diba? Pa-download ng Chrome. Yes. Ginagamit daw for download lang ng Chrome. But ngayon, nung pumasok tong Microsoft Edge, ba? Okay naman siya. Okay. Hindi naman nagkakaproblema yung Microsoft Edge. Okay. So, I guess mas okay siyang gamitin for Windows. Uh, mas kinagamit ko lang talaga yung Chrome. Okay. So, bagay. Kaya naman ng RAM ko. So, yun na lang siguro. <laughs> But, ayan. I, I recommend na gamitin nyo rin yung Edge, of course. Ako, ginamit ko yan kapag may iba akong apps na binubuksan. Katulad ng Adobe Premiere nakabukas ka ng launcher ng Mirror 4 kapag nagigames ka. Ayan, uh, Photoshop. Kailangan mag-open ka nito. Or else, baka di kayanin nung RAM mo yung memory na kinakain ng space na meron. Of course, the Mozilla Firefox. Ito napakasikat ito, year 2000. Kasabayan to ng Google Chrome, eh, noong 2007 or 8, talaga nag-boom silang dalawa. Parehas kasi silang open source. However, mas medyo umangat nga lang si Chrome kasi mas simple kasi yung design niya compared dito kay Mozilla Firefox. Si Mozilla Firefox kasi simula nung pumasok siya, nag-iba-iba kasi siya ng logo. Okay. Unlike ni Chrome na, okay, nung pagpasok niya. Ang naging basis kasi ng Chrome noon, kaya baka bakit siya naging maganda is that pag nag-YouTube ka daw, pag naka-Chrome ka, sobrang bilis. Something na gano'n. Okay. So, yun yun sabi naging... daw, ay, say, say, sorry po, sir. Mm -hmm. Sabi ba daw, ano, malakas daw kumain ng RAM yung Chrome? Um, kapag chinek mo ngayon yung bias mo at chinek mo yung RAM mo, yes. Part of it, yes. Oh, totoo. 
Okay. That's why I recommend nga na gumamit kayo ng Microsoft Edge. Okay. So again, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome, almost same lang sila nag-start. Medyo nag-una lang nag-boom tong Mozilla Firefox kasi if I'm not mistaken, dito sa Philippines, especially sa Philippines, no, nung pumasok yung Software Freedom Day kasi we also we also have a day na kung tinawagin ay Software Freedom Day. So kung di pa siya na-experience, <clears throat> okay lang kasi pandemic naman tayo. Eh. Pero nung, nung merong Software Freedom Day, eh talagang lagi silang andoon. Hanggang dumating yung point na bigla sigurong nag-stop kasi nga open source sila, more on donations, ganyan. Wala na. Na-overtake na sila ng Google Chrome. Which is ngayon na, ngayon nga, ayun yung ginagamit. Of course, we have the Opera. Ayan, yung mga kauna-unahang Facebook. Okay, install tayo. Install kayo ng Opera Mini para meron kayong libre. Ganyan, ganyan. Yeah. But this one is good also. Of course, the Safari. Ayan. So, wala kayo nakikita sa akin Safari, no? Kasi for Mac OS lang yan. Okay. So, mga Apple devices, yan ginagamit nila Safari. So, pag sinabi mong pag-Google Chrome naman or search ka sa Google, of course, they use the Safari kapag mga naka-iPhone yan. Of course, the Seamonkey also. Ayan. So, moving after the web browsers, ayan, we also have, eto na, the web server. So, the web server sends information back to the web browser, which displays the results on the computer or other internet-enabled device that supports a browser. Okay? So, yun yung pwede na web server natin. So, dun mo, uh, kumbaga, dun mo sinesend yung data or information, sila naman yung nagsisend back ng data or information na kailangan mo. Sila yung nagdi-display na. Okay? So, once na nag-down yung server, of course, down din po yung buong network mo. Ay, sorry, buong network mo. Pag once na nag-down yung server ng isang website, definitely down din po sa website. And of course, hindi naman natin may iwasan yun. So, pag sa Pilipinas pa, meron tayong own server. Um, ang ginagawa kasi, Ang, ang kalimitang web server ng Pilipinas ay sa ibang bansa din po. We also have, we, we only, anong tawag dito, talk to the hosting companies. We have a lot of hosting companies dito sa Pilipinas. Ibig sabihin, sila yung nakikipag-transact or gumagawa ng transaction to the company na nagbibigay ng web server or services when it comes to web server or online server dun sa ibang bansa. Okay? So, ang tawag po dun ay hosting. And hosting company po yung tawag doon sa Philippines. Okay? I, I remember those times na... Uh, ano ba ang tawag doon? Uh, Nagpi-freelance pa akong gumawa ng website. Ngayon kasi parang di na kaya. Kasi we have our own family. Tapos yung time medyo alated na sa iba't ibang gawain. So, sir, paano ba ang process para magkaroon ka ng web server? Ang una... First thing that you have to do nung nakipagkita ako sa kanya, kasi that time di pa ako, ano ba dito? Hindi pa ako convinced na okay na yung online transactions. I, 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 I do it more on a cash basis transactions. So, tinignan ko. So, ang pangalan ng website nila ay solidhosting.ph. Wait, sorry ko nga. Baka may kita nyo dito. Ah, ito meron pa pala. Ayan. So, this is... is oh, nakikita ba? Opo, oh, sir. Yes. Okay, so this is solidhosting.ph. This is the first uh, hosting company na nakausap ko. Tapos sila din yung nag... Anong tawag dito? Nag-host. Or let's say sila yung hosting company na kinuha ko for different websites na ginawa ko. Okay, so tabi mo, avail our hosting plan and get a free premium template or WordPress plus elegant. Kapag, if you are into web development, ayan, tapos you are in content management system na web development, yung tipong, kahit hindi ka technically, technically or technically knowledgeable, ay eh, makakagawa ka ng website. This one is really important, the WordPress or the content management system. So as you can see, they have the 800 yearly starter plan. Ayan. They have the 1,500 and they have the 3,000. Sir, ano, ano, ano ba yan mga yan? <clears throat> Excuse me. Ito po is hosting plan only. Okay, actually, mababa nga itong 800. Yearly, ah. 
yearly. Dati, this is 1,200. 1,200, or sorry, 1,100, 1,500, tapos 3,000 talaga. Professional, basic, tapos starter plan. Ibig sabihin, sa loob ng isang taon po, ito, sa loob ng isang taon, ang babayaran mo is 800 only. For the hosting. Hindi ba po kasama yung tinatawag nating domain name? Ano-ano yun? Ang domain name po is yun po yung, alimbawa, uh, sino ba dito? Alimbawa, si Jimwell Cebuano. Alimbawa, gumawa si Jimwell ng sarili niyang website. So, ang pinangalan niya ay Cebuano. Cebuano.ph Okay. So, ang tawag po doon is the domain name. Ngayon, bibilin mo yon. So, ang first step to be able free to have your web server is to ask for a domain name. Kasi baka mamaya, nag-check ka ng domain name or alimbawa, sinabi mo, Bibili po akong hosting pero wala pa akong domain name. Hindi po pwede yun. Kailangan meron ka munang domain name bago ka bumili ng hosting. Ngayon, sir, saan ako makakabili? Pwede ka rin makabili ng, host, ay, ng uh, domain name sa kanila. Of course, they would check kung okay ba yung domain name na yun. Of course, you can also check kung okay ba yung domain name na yun or available ba yung domain name na yun. Paano, sir? Edi, check mo sa browser. Di ba? Halimbawa, o, oh, Cebuano. .org. Meron na bang Cebuano.org? Oh. This site can't be rich. So basically, baka wala. O kaya Cebuano. Pero I guess meron kayong meron natin Cebuano.com. O, oh, diba? Wala. So, pero sabi niya, GoDaddy. So this is also a hosting company sa ibang bansa naman. So they are based in other countries. So pwede mo siyang kunin. Okay, sige. O, babalik ka ulit sa solidosing.ph. May message mo sila. Tapos sabihin mo, um, bibili po ako ng domain name which is cebuano.com tapos ang plan ko po ay the starter plan. The basic or the professional plan. Mapapansin nyo, magkakaiba yung this space na kaya niya. Ayan, may monthly bandwidth. So, of course, dito ka sa unlimited bandwidth. Para kang nag-internet na naka -unly. Ito naman, para ka nag-internet na naka-30 days per day, meron kang 1 gig. Ito naman, since starter, blah, blah, blah. So, alam ba, gusto mong gumawa ng website for a capstone more pagdating mo ng 4th year or whatever, you can check this one, starter plan. Why? Basta make sure lang natapos ka ng isang, or let's say, okay na yung website mo for few months, something na ganun. Bakit? Kasi para mas mabilis po yung bandwidth mo. Kasi kung okay, hindi maubos agad yung, or hindi maano yung monthly bandwidth mo na 20 gig. Kasi baka mamaya sobrang gamit mo ng website mo, eh, maubos yung 20 gig or mawala yung 20 gig monthly bandwidth na meron ka. Okay. Pero matagal maubos yan or whatever. Pero kapag kaya mo, di okay ka dito. Pero sabi ko nga, for research purposes, you can use this one. Okay. So, ayun lang po. You start with the domain name followed by your uh, hosting or yung web server na tinatawag natin. So, magkano yung .com? Of course, they also have prices when it comes to the domain. Okay? Pag, pag bumili ka ng domain name, of course, dot, dot .com is the cheapest. Okay? Napaka-cheap po ng .com. That cost 500 pesos. Dati ah. Pero ngayon, I guess 500 pa rin naman. Okay? 500 pesos. Halimbawa, gumawa ka yun sa buwano.com. Pag binili mo yun, sa yun na yun for, for the price of 500 pesos. Plus, halimbawa, naglagay ka ng 800 or 13 na, di ba? 500 plus 800 is 1,300. O, oh, edi yung sa buwano.com, makikita na po doon sa web browser mo once na sinerge mo. Okay. So, ganun po yan. Okay. Kaya pag sinasabi nila, Medyo, hindi naman talaga totally mahal kapag gusto mong makita yung website mo for the whole year. ba? Diba? Tsaka for yung pagpang-portfolio, yung tipong, uh, if you want to check my my resume, you can you can visit this website. Okay. Okay, a photographer ka. If you want to check all my, ang tawag dito, my my shots and everything you can check my website also aside from my page something like that di ba so parang mas okay siya so that's how it works pero syempre explain natin di ba papaano ito na nga so we have your hypertext transfer protocol or http then we also have or allows for the retrieval of link resources from across the web furthermore hypertext transfer protocol secure or security 
Okay? Or HTTPS provides authentication of the visited website and protects the privacy integrity of exchange data. That's why, kapag alimbawa, papasok ka ng Yahoo Mail, Gmail, Facebook, you always make sure na HTTPS po yung nakalagay sa may taas. Okay? Yun ang dito. Kapag nag-type ka ng www. Ayan, or HTTPS www.facebook.com or kapag uh, anong tawag dito, mag-i-input mag, mag ka na ng data dito katulad sa Yahoo Mail. Ayan. Make sure na meron siyang HTTPS or secure. Kaya lang, dito kasi on this part, meron naman na nakalagi dito. Okay? So, since HTTPS siya, wala tayo magiging problema. Basta pag mag -e encode ka ng mga personal information, okay, or secured information, or information na napaka-importante, you must use the HTTPS. So, a common way to get a website is to enter URL or homepage browser's ad address bar, so on and so forth. Ayan nga. Katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, website is the combination of web pages. That's right. So, kapag web page lang or isa lang, that is a web page. And of course, <clears throat> uniform resource locator or yung tinatawag natin URL, it is the global address of documents and other resources on the World Wide Web. Okay. Of course, we also have uh, two kinds of website. Two kinds. One is the static, then the other one is the dynamic. So static is the simplest kind of website. It contains information, does not change. Most of the static websites are created for viewing purposes only. So ibig sabihin, ang static website, static lang siya. Steady lang, simple lang, for viewing purposes only. Pag sinabi naman natin dynamic website, has more functionality, flexibility, and features. Ayun na lang. Basta dynamic, mas marami may mga features, meron siyang different functionality, uh, sorry, functionality. It also contains information that can be changed automatically. Okay. So, ano na ba yung mga importance of having a website? Of course, we have your online advertising presence. With websites, you can now hey, you can now have a parang pagbukas mo ng website, pag pinuntahan, ah okay, ito pala yung itsura ng company na to. Tapos ito yung oh, about ito yung objective nila, ito yung mga ginagawa nila. Of course, transfer information to branches and affiliates. Of course, you can transfer that information. You can educate your customers by, of course, by the, by the means of website, you can educate your customers na, ah, okay, ito pala yun. Tapos ganito pala ginagawa yung product nila. Talagang sophisticated in developing their product and goods and services. Ayan. Tapos worldwide exposure kasi hindi lang naman siya pang Pilipinas. Pang global interconnection of networks nga siya. Di ba? Ngayon, sir, worldwide exposure eh, sa Pilipinas lang ako. Wala namang problema doon if mag-export or whatever. But sir, paano nila malalamang na nasa Pilipinas ako? Of course, yung mga domain name kasi meron yan iba't ibang ibig sabihin. Halimbawa, .com is for commercial, .ph is for Philippines, .org is for organization, .net is for network. Di ba? So, pwede mo ilagay .com, .ph. Ibig sabihin, you are commercial in the Philippines. Okay? .com, .hk. O ibig sabihin, you are commercial under sa Hong Kong. Naga, na naiintindihan niyo ba 'yung ibig ko sabihin sa ganun? Yes po, sir. Okay, parang yes, Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Yahoo.com.ph. Ibig sabihin, kung makikita niyo 'yung yahoo.com, 'di ba, 'yung mga ang tawag dito, 'yung mga information na nakalagay sa kanya in English or it's been global news 'yung nakalagay. Pero pag ang nilagay mo yahoo.com.ph, 'yung mga ang tawag dito, news naman sa Pilipinas 'yung nakalagay lang. Okay? Of course, we have different types of website. Aside from the kinds of website na meron tayo dito, we also have different types of website. Una, we have the personal website. Of course, this one is a personal web page. It's a group of web pages that someone creates about themselves. Yung tungkol sa kanila. An example is this one, the juris.com.ph. I guess wala na ito eh. Ewan ko lang ha. So, this is primarily used for informative or entertainment purposes but can also be used for personal career marketing. So if you want to 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 market your your career, your product, or whatever, you can use your personal website. Our, our so si Juris, kung mapapansin nyo, kinlik ko ah. 
which is required by WordPress. Siguro din delete na to. Okay. Ay no, kasi ito itsura ng jurist.com.ph. Sir, ano ka mo sa yung ganyan, yung ganyang website? Eh, siguro nag-close na pandemic na eh. Tapos mas kung ikaw singer ka, of course, mas okay sa YouTube ka gumawa. 'Di ba? At katulad nung ginagawa, eh ko nag-umpisa si Gigi ba 'yon dala na. So once nung nag-start na siya, di karamihan na ngayon nag-online na sa 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 YouTube, sa Kumu, yung mga ganun. Okay, so I guess you must also explore para at least makita niyo yung mga yan. But also this but this one is the purpose of knowing only that we also or may nag-exist pong personal website. Of course, the company website. Okay, so necessity for entrepreneurs, small businesses, home-based business and anybody selling products or services. Of course, aside from the page na meron ka, dapat meron ka din dito. This one is for legitimate purposes, eh, legitimacy. Okay. So, click natin. Open pa siguro yan. Ayan. Matatag yan. Red ribbon. Ayan. Ayan. No, no. Napapasama sila sa ganito. Ano? Baka naman. Red ribbon. Di ba? So, ayan. Sample. Red. Ito pa pala, ano? Kapag meron tayong mga foods or mga pagkain na ang tawag dyan? Na, na website, kalimitan ng kulay niyan red or blue. Pansinin niyo. Kasi nga, mas parang, ang tawag dito? Appetizing. Uh, 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 Contract sa mata. Yes, that's right. That's why kapag food yung website, laging it's either blue or red. Of course, maliban sa mga <clears throat> company na black talaga yung team. Diba? May mga company kasi halimbawa, yung mga coffee. Of course, black talaga yan. Hindi yan pwede mag-red. But more on the mga fast food chain, restaurants. Of course, red and blue talaga yung ginagamit. Of course, we have your e-commerce website. Provide shoppers with the convenience of fully integrated free shopping cart and secure checkout experience directly from the website. So, meron tayong example dito, Metro Deal. Ayan. Dati nagsara na tong Metro Deal, kaya lang bumalik sila. Tanan! Kasi nga, lumakas uli yung e- lumakas na yung e-commerce. They don't expect na they don't expect na talakas yung e-commerce. Okay? Ngayon lang naman talaga tumaas yung e-commerce eh. Nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, doon lang tayo na parang, okay, sige, magtiwala tayo magbayad online, ganyan-ganyan. Magpa-deliver online, bumili online. That's why nauso nga itong Lazada and Shopee. Okay. Of course, we also have website for the government or the government website. Of course, for government, build to provide interaction services between the citizen, employee, government, and government agencies. Of course, di mawawala ang social networking site. Sabi dito, enables users to create profile within the website among the people who shares interests, activities, photos, videos, backgrounds, or real-life connections. A social network can also be site to have forums, chat, video calling, share files, and other form of communication. That's why we have your Facebook, Instagram, di ba? There are a lot of social media, okay? Or the social networking sites na meron tayo. Of course, we have your entertainment website, okay? One of the most used and viewed website in the world, of course, is an entertainment website. And of course, and one of the example of that, the most viewed, syempre, is the YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, no? Kahapon, nagbabrowse ako kasi nag, uh, pama, tawag dito, pamasahe kasi ako sa likod habang may ginagawa ako. Eh, may hilo sa BTS. <clears throat> Mga palalaki ngayon, no, wapa babae talagang ang ihilig sa ganun, BTS. Ito yung click ko. Sabi ko ba, 331, ang OD lang pala. Nung tinobol check ko, 331 million pala. Grabe, no? Pag kinonvert mo yun, parang ang dami. Kinonvert mo into monetary. ba? Diba? Naglagay ka lang ng ano ng BTS, matik meron ka na China Oil. Of course, ang meron tayo, of course, is the blogging website. Ito, just for a clarification of everybody, no? So, a blogging website or a blog is an abbreviated version of web blog which 
which is a term used to describe website that contains and maintains bloggers or group of bloggers own experience, observations, suggestions, opinions, etc. So iba po ito dun sa vlog na nakikita nyo yung video logging. Okay? Dati ang blogging website or ang blogging is ayan more on more on experiences mo tapos pinag ano tawag dito? Pinaghahandaan talaga. Ngayon hindi eh. Kung ano-ano na lang, magawa tayong challenge na ganito, mag-vlog tayo ng ganito. Hindi na siya vlog, vlog. Yan yung vlog sa vlogging. Magkakaiba po yun. Ha? Para tising tayo masyadong nagkaka... Ang tawag dito? Nagkakaiba when it comes to the definition of vlog or vlog na tinatawag nila. So, totoong vlog. Okay? That's why pag nakikita akong vlog daw or vlog na... Kakaiba, eh, that's not a blogging na nakita natin. Inimitan kasi, ito talaga yung may experiences mo. Tapos sinusulat mo talaga through a website. Yung tipong, paano ka makakapunta sa ganitong lugar? Especially kapag traveler ka, di ba? Dapat binablog mo yun. Para at least, pag mayroong nagtanong, how are we going to ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Automatic may kita mo. Di ba? Kalimitan kasi ng blog ngayon for personal blog only or vlog. Yung tipong, Okay, dito kami sa ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Without giving any information. Okay. Ito kasi, given na na meron. Ayan. Kurtz, Kurtzki.com. I guess close na din to. Ayan, it's for sale. Ayan. $2,000. Nakita ko yung dumi. Ano, ito? Oh, okay, yung $2,000. Mahal. $2,000, Siyempre, iba-iba yan eh. Okay, iba-ibang lugar yan. Ayan, Kuritsky. Pero ito, si Kuya Kurit, sobrang galing ito mag-vlog dati. Actually, pag pumunta ka ng Malaysia, Malaysia, or dito sa Southeast Asia, makakita ka pa rin ng vlog niya sa mga brochure, sa mga airport. Ayan. Ano yan eh? Schoolmate ko sa PUP Tagig. Napakagaling na vlogger. Kaya lang, syempre, with the boom or rising of vlog, definitely, nag-stop siguro muna siya mag-vlog talaga. Okay. Of course, we have the search engine and portal website. Uh, search engine, this is for searching. Portal is the portal. Hindi pong dito ka mag-uumpisa para mahanap mo lahat. Okay, parang ganun. You have the google.com, you have the yahoo. Of course, sabi nga, you may have already heard of SEO, yung tinatawag na search engine optimization. Ayan. Search engine optimization is the science or art of increasing traffic to a website by helping it ranks higher in an organic or non-paid search results from search engine. SEO will help you position your website properly to be found the most critical points in buying process or when people need your site. So, halimbawa, um, ang 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 isa-search natin is ito. <clears throat> Secret Peak Gold. Ayan. So as you can see, ang search engine optimization, or let's go back, or SEO, is the science of art increasing effect by helping it ranks higher in organic or not paid. Ibig sabihin yan, ito po yan. Kung sino yung nasa una, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat, panglima, hanggang dun sa next na yan, di ba pag the next natin yan, meron ba yan doon? Ang tawag po doon search engine optimization. You are optimizing the search engine na ikaw yung mauna. Okay? But since ito yung nauna, the definitely, siya yung rank 1 when it comes to SEO. Nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? So, di ba, ang nilagay mo dyan, uh, ano yan? Hmm. Ayan. ba? Diba? Sabi dito, best restaurants in Laguna. Anong unang website yun na una? Trip Advisor. That's right. So, pwede mo siyang i-check. Tapos, ito pa. Blog.kkday.com So, ibig sabihin, through the use of SEO, sila talaga yung una lumalabas. Siyempre, since sila yung pwedeng clickables, pinakalagi nakiklik o nabubuksan, dito ka magkiklik ngayon. Kasi nga, you trusted this one. 
the tripadvisor.com. Actually, yung tripadvisor, this one is very useful. No? Kasi dito ako nag-check ng ano ba yung mga magagandang places na puntahan sa isang lugar, ano yung mga pwedeng restaurants nila. Dito ako nag-check. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na dito lang ako nag-check. Kasi there are a lot of websites na nag-offer katulad nito, katulad nito, katulad nito, katulad nito. So lahat po yan, pwede mong puntahan. Depende na lang kung ano yung pipiliin mo based sa mga nakita niya po. Okay? Next. So ano ba yung search engine optimization techniques? Paano ba tayo tataas ng rank? Paano ba tayo magna number one dun sa Google? Once sa synergy yung ganong category. Una, the social networking sites. Creating an account to social media sites will help you increase the ranking and visibility of the website. By creating an account, the user can share posts with links, post contents regarding a specific website by adding target customers. Okay? So, gagawa ka ng social media sites daw, tapos share mo yung link ng website mo with different contents, so on and so forth. Blogging. Google has developed automatic algorithm that rank your site. They send out what are called spiders to crawls your site and check whether your site is valuable or useless. Okay? These indicators include things like backlinks, domain age, traffic, fresh content, etc. So, ano na ba yung mga backlinks? Yung tipong pag-click mo to, babalik ka dito sa blog na to, tapos pag-click mo to, babalik ka dun sa kaibang website na to. Domain age, traffic, tapos fresh content. Kapag may fresh content ka ba, ano yung mga nangyayari, maraming ba nag-views. Okay? Ito po yung isa na, the blogging. Of course, the search engine submission. Ayan. Si, ito, search engine submission, you submit. Okay? Uh, you submit, ano? Eh, submit eh, directly to a search engine. Ibig sabihin yung, ay sorry, ibig sabihin yan, yung domain name mo, you are to submit your domain name doon po sa search engine. So, halimbawa, um, sa, sa, sa Google at saka sa Yahoo, di ba? You are going to send your uh, domain name sa kanila. Okay? Para at least, tas magbibigay ka ng metadata or information na lalagay ka ng keywords na magsasabing, ah, okay, this company is for ganito, this company is for ganyan. Okay? Domain name and web server hosting. Ayan. So, nasabi na natin to, domain servers are the internet's equivalent of a phone book. They maintain directory of domain names and translate them to internet protocol addresses. A domain name locates, identifies, or other entity on the internet by internet protocol or IP. Ayan. Na-discuss na natin yan. Of course, domain names are easy for people to remember. However, computers or machine access website based on IP address. So, diba, naglagay ka, yahoo.com, ang alam natin yan is yahoo.com. Pero, the, the computer, ang ginagawa niyan is the IP address po yung hinahanap nila. But since parang hindi tayo mahirapan, they convert IP address into a domain name po. So, we also have the top-level domain name and country code top-level domain name. Yung top-level domain name or TLD, ito po yun, mga .com, commercial, org, organization, .net, network, edu, a higher education, .gov for government, so on and so forth. Ayan, sorry. Eh, may kasi nakalip ko. Sorry. Ayan. And of course, we have your country code top level domain name. Pag sinabi natin country code top level domain name, ayan na po yung .ph, .us, .hk. So ito po yun, yung mga country code. Para malaman mo kung anong top level, uh, ano yung mga code ng countries. Okay. So ayun po yun. Of course, the features of web hosting na pinakita na rin natin kanina, The bandwidth, the space, tapos sa server. Ayan. Naintindihan po ba to? Yes, pa, sir. Yes, po. Yes, okay. sir. Let's move now to <clears throat> overview of internet working. So, internet working is the term for all the concepts, technologies, and generic devices connecting in different networks. Ito po yan. Ganyan po yung pinaka-itsura niya. In real world scenario, internet working started as a way of connect or to connect disparate types of networking technology, connecting individual local area networks to create a wide area networks or ones and connecting ones into a larger ones. That's why kung makikita nyo, meron tayong ito, example ng network dito, may example ng network and another network. So from LAN to one to a greater one or wider area network. So, one corresponds to or means wide area network. Ayan, one. And LAN corresponds to local area 
network. Ayan. So, medyo familiar na iba dyan, lalo yung mga nagtudota pag sinabing local area network or land, alam na nila yan. And pag one naman po, that is wide area networks. Okay. Let's go now with the classification of computer network. So, computer network is simply a network. That's right. That's why hindi ko na yun explain no? Okay. So, by scale, we have the local area networks or the LAN. Teka lang, nag-off yung video ko. So, LAN is a group of computers and other devices that are connected together in a relatively small area. So, pag medyo maliit lang yung area mo, you can create your LAN. Pag halimbawa, nasa bahay ka lang, you can create your own LAN also. Okay. So, makikita nyo, meron kayong internet, the modem, the router, tapos meron tayong switch dito. Switch add intelligence to your devices. That's why sa switch may connected na desktop PC, desktop PC, desktop PC. Tapos meron tayong server. Tapos sa router also, you can also have your workstation and another Wi-Fi. Tapos mapasok si iPhone, si laptop, tapos si smartphone. Okay. That's how the local area networks work. Of course, we also have the wide area networks. It's a collection of computers and network resources connected together that distinguishes broader tele telecommunication structure from like a local area network or collection of LANs. So being collection of LANs, tapos pinag-connecta mo isa-isa. So we have your, ito yung one, so ito yung LAN here. Merong LAN siguro dito, meron ding local area network dito sa, ang tawag dito? Sa building na to, then meron din sigurong LAN dito, tapos this one is connected nga dito. So LAN, 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 tapos pinag-connecta mo bawat isa, magkakakonekta sa lahat. Nagkaroon na po tayo ng one or the wide area network. Of course, we also have the campus area networks. So, campus network, campus area network, or corporate area network, or CAN, is an interconnection of local area networks within a limited ge geographical space such as school, campus, or military base, so on and so forth. Now, to be able for us to understand it, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng campus area network? Ngayon, kung papansin nyo, mayroong buildings, library, building, tas building. Halimbawa, this is an example of is yung skwelahan. Ano ba sa PUP? You have building A and building B. No? Yung internet connection, o yung connection, sorry, na meron si building A and si building B, sila lang magkakaroon ng connection. Paglabas mo ng PUP or the building A and the building B, wala ka na mag hindi ka na magkakaroon ng connection for that certain area. That is what we call the campus area network. Or pwede naman, since geographically, uh, pwedeng isang, isang, ano tawag dito? Anong tawag dito? Uh, ano pang example mo dito? Alam ba, sa Maymang Plaza. Ayun, example ko talaga, sabihin niya, kahit ako sana yun. No? Di ba, sa Maymang Plaza, di ba meron dong liip kung tawagin? So they can have a campus area network o hindi tawag na corporate area network or can sa loob lang po ng uh, campus or corporate area nila. Ibig sabihin, after nun, yung connection will be wala na. Kasi hanggang kanila lang po yung connections. Okay. Of course, we have your met metropolitan area networks or MANs. Uh, a metropolitan area network or MAN consists of computer network and devices across a large geographical area that includes several buildings or even the entire city or the metropolis. Ayan. Land, they have land, tapos meron ding land, tapos land, tapos they have one, tapos metropolitan area network. Basic network of land, MAN, and metropolitan area network. But, kapag ganito kasi, ang ginagawa na talaga is diretso one na. Di ba? But kapag gagawa ng metropolitan area network, kung pwede namang diretso one na lahat yung gagamitin. Okay. Next, we also have the home area networks. Ayan yung mga sa bahay-bahay na set up. No? Kapag gusto mo talaga ng uh, anong tawag dito? I-set up yung home network mo nakatulad nito, eh, okay lang naman. So, we have your wireless router network diagram. Of course, you have your internet, the cable modem, tapos the wireless router, tapos yung wireless router, connected tapos sa lahat ng device sa loob lang po na bahay. Okay. Sir, paano pag lumabas? Uh, huwag naman tayo pilosopo. Di ba? <laughs> Siyempre, pag nasa labas ng bahay, tapos connected ka pa, walang problema. Ang ibig sabihin lang, nakaset up ka in a local area network. Okay? Under ng home area network. Sorry. Okay. So, of course, you have your personal area networks. Ayan. So, short distance area, wired or wireless network for interconnecting devices centered around an individual person's workplace. Ayan. 
Fans can be used for communication among the personal devices themselves for connecting to a higher level network and the internet. So if you want to have your personal area network, you can set up your own. Wala naman magiging problema doon. Yung tipong naka-wired siya, okay, doon sa router, tapos naka-wired lahat, ganyan-ganyan. Of course, naka-connect na rin siya to mobile. Of course, we have the internet, intranet, and extranet. So, internet is a global network used for connect people, communities, and countries around the world by computers. Without any questions. Of course, intranet is a private network that is contained within an, within an enterprise. It is usually a corporation accessible by the organization's members, employees, or, other, or, uh, or others with authorization. So, yun po yung intranet. Within an enterprise only. So, extranet naman, private network that requires, allows controlled access from outside of an organization's intranet. This can include firewall, server management, VPN, so on and so forth. Of course, darknet, also known as dark web, part of a greater deep web, a network of secret website that exists on encrypted network. Yeah, wag natin explain it. Of course, we also have computer networks by network topologies. Okay, so network topology refers to how the various nodes, devices, and connections on your network are physically or logically arranged in relation to each other. So, paano ba sila nagiging, or paano ba yung relationship niya with each other, and paano ba siya nagkakonect ng mga devices? So, we have now the first is the bus topology. So, para kasi siyang bus, kasi isang diretso lang siya. Which every computer and network device is connected to a single cable when it has exactly two point ends and it's called linear bus topology. And ninety the end but bus topology. Every computer and network device is connected to single cable only. Okay, single cable lang. So pag nasira yung isa, drop na po lahat. Okay. Pag ring topology naman, because it forms a ring as each computer is connected to another computer with the last one connected to the first, exactly two neighbors. Ganun din, di ba? You know, connected sila sa bawat isa. That is a ring topology. Of course, we also have the star topology. All computers are connected to a single hub through a cable. This hub is a central node of all other nodes are connected to the central node. Ibig sabihin, they are only connected with this one. Ngayon, kapag na-disconnect to, Okay lang, kasi connected pa rin naman siya. Kasi they are connected with the hub. Okay. Mesh. Mesh network is a point-to-point -point connection to other nodes or devices. All the network nodes are connected to each other. Okay. So there are two types of to transmit data over the mesh topologies. Una, the routing and the flooding. Okay. Ayan. Ito, hindi ko na-explain na. Kasi this one will be explained ng mas maganda kapag meron talaga tayong ginagamit na software for routing and flooding. Ayan. Baka mas paguluhan pa tayo. Since ang, ang habo lang naman natin is ma-explain what is a mesh topology. Of course, we also have the tree topology. Ito sa root node. Ito po yun. The root node yung pinakataas. Root. Of course, the parent tapos the children. Ayan. Children, parents, tapos the root. Connected to it, forming a hierarchy, it also called hierarchy topology. It should at least have three levels of the hierarchy. That's right. Yeah, ganyan po yung connection niya. And of course, we have the hybrid. Okay? It is a two different types of topology, which is a mixture of two or more topologies. For example, in an office, in one department, ring topology is used, and in the other, star. And the other, or, and in another, star topology is used. Connecting these topologies will result to hybrid topology, ring topology, and star topology. So if you want to create something na kakaiba or mag-hybrid kayo katulad ng ganito, ay nasa inyo yun. But kung hindi naman kinakailangan, edi you stick with one network topology. Only. Now we also have a functional relationship, the network architectures of computer networks. So computer network architecture is defined as the physical and logical design of the software, hardware, protocols, and media of the transmission of the data. Of course, we have the client server. Ayan. A server performs all the major operations such as security and network management. That's right. That's why we have this one. This is the server, the internet, the clients. Okay. Clients corresponds to the stakeholders or the devices na meron tayo. Okay. And that's why we have your client, the server. 
of course we have the we have the peer to peer architecture it is a network which all computers are linked together with the equal privilege and responsibilities for processing data peer to peer is useful for small environments usually up to 10 computers peer to peer computer to computer and a client to server functionality Ayan. of course we also have by connections okay and of course we also have the different network devices na meron tayo una we have the NIC or the network interface card converts the data packets between two dif different data transmission technologies a PC uses a parallel data transmission technology to transmit data between its internal parts while the media that provides connectivity between different pieces use serial data transmission technology. So this one is an example of network interface card. Ito yung ginagamit natin. Okay, so I hope na nakita rin kayo ng ganyan. Single RJ45 port, NIC, so on and so forth. Token ring, NIC. Ayan. Of course, we have your network hub. It's a networking device which is used to connect multiple networks hosts. Okay, you use hub. Network siege also works at the layer of LAN, but you can say that a switch is more intelligent than a hub. Kasi nga, mas marami siya nakakonekta. Weird, no? <laughs> switch is more intelligent than a hub. Kasi mas marami nga naman talaga nakakonekta rito. Of course, hindi laging ganyan, ha? Okay. Sir, bakit hindi laging ganyan? Kasi depende po kung ilan po yung gusto mong plagyan or ilan yung paper pwede mong or gusto mong mailagay dito. Kasi mamaya, 10 lang pala ilalagay mo tapos bumili ka ng ilan? 2, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 24. Diba? At bibili mo lang kung ano yung tama sa'yo. Ngayon, if you are futuristic, at least, check mo kung ano ba yung or ilan ba yung kasha dun sa switch na gusto mong gawin. Future rin. Dun sa, uh, pag-check mo sa future, eh, ilan ba? Ilan ba yung pwedeng madagdag na devices na naka-wired? Kasi kalimitan ngayon, wireless na, di ba? Pati nga PC, wireless na, di ba? Pero syempre, mas okay pa rin kapag wired sa pag-PC. Okay. Of course, the modem. So if you have notice around, you get an internet connection through a wire, there are different types of wires into your house, of course. This wire is used to carry out internet data outside the internet world. Ayan, the modem. The network router. Responsible for routing traffic from one to another network. This These two networks could be a private company network to a public network. You can think of a router as a traffic police who directs different network traffic to different directions. So, kumbaga, sabi nga niya, ito daw yung traffic police. O, oh, ikaw dito ka, ikaw dito ka, ikaw dito ka, ikaw dito ka. That's a network router. Of course, we have the bridge. Yeah. If a router connects two different types of networks, then a bridge connects two subnetwork as a part of the same network. Katulad yan. Nag-bridge siya ngayon sa two servers na meron ka. Of course, the repeater. Ayan. It's an electronic device that amplifies the signals it receives. In other terms, you can think of a repeater as a device which receives signal and transmit, and transmit it at a higher level or higher power so that the signal can cover a longer distance. Repeater. So, alimbawa, may Wi-Fi access ka, hanggang dito lang yung Wi-Fi access mo, you can have your repeater. Para medyo mas lumawak pa po yung, or geographically, mas lumawak pa yung sakop kung hanggang sa mabupunta yung Wi-Fi mo. Okay. And of course, you have your assessment here. And then, then, tapos na ang ating fifth meeting. Naintindihan po ba yung computer networks? Yes. Sir, may yeah. question po ako. Sus, that, sorry. Ako po, sir. Yes, Nico. Ano pong pinagkaiba ng local area network sa home area network? Tsaka ano? ano din po yung pinagkaiba ng router sa modem? Okay, okay. Anong pinagkaiba ng local area network sa home area network? Tama okay, ba? Sir. Um, Kalimitan kasi, ang home network kasi is can be considered a LAN also, ano? Kumbaga, tinawag lang siyang home area network kasi yung setup mo is for the home purposes only. Kumbaga, um, sa loob nito, ang pwede mo lang ma-access is yung nasa bahay lang. Kapag local area network kasi, pwede kasing 
nasa loob ka ng isang room, makukonektahan mo siya ng bawat isa, pero hindi mo na siya lalagyan ng restriction personally. Sa home area network kasi, pwede ka maglagay ng restriction personally kasi nga for home purposes. Like, like halimbawa, kahit na 32 yung pwede mong magamit for a local area network connections ng isa, eh, sa home area network, pwede mong gawing 15 lang. So, definitely, it's based on the configuration na lang. Kung baga, the, the configuration, hindi na siya totally on ano ba yung functionality. Kasi kung titignan mo, ang home area network kasi is parang LAN na rin. Tama ba? That's why, very confusing talaga. Okay ba yan, Nico? Apa, sir. Yung sa ano naman po, sa router at sa modem. Ah, sige, ibalik natin doon. Sa router and modem, dito ba yung nakalagay ng modem, no? Sabi dito, is somewhat more interesting network device in our daily life. So if you have noticed around, you get an internet connection through a wire. There are different types of wires uh, to your house. This wire is used to carry our internet data outside to the internet world. So sabi niya, it carry out or it carry our internet data outside the internet world. Sabi niya ng modem, no? Ang router naman po, siya yung nagdadirect ng traffic. So, ibig sabihin, with the use of router, siya yung nagsasabi na, oh, okay, ikaw, ito yung bandwidth na dalin mo dito. Ikaw, ito yung dalin mong bandwidth. Depending on sa paggamit or dun sa nakakonekta sa kanya. Okay? So, yung modem, okay, that's the modem of the ISP. Okay? Yung router naman po, which is used for directing traffic na. Okay? Pero kalimitan, ang ang nangyayari, modem and router ay paparehas na lang. Parang sa atin, di ba? Or, ewan ko, may connection ka ba ngayon? Kasi most likely, ang, ang, ang nagiging modem natin ngayon dito is parang yung box na lang na meron tayo. Yun na lang yung nagiging modem na meron tayo. And sometimes, router, eh, tinatawag na rin nilang modem. Okay? So, medyo confusing pa rin, no? Parang, bakit may modem pa eh? Parehas lang din naman sila. But, The real function of e-modem is to carry your internet data outside to the internet world, which is doon na nga sa internet service provider mo. Ang network router naman, ang pinaka-main function niya is to deliver network connections doon naman po sa mga devices na meron ka. Mapa wireless man yan o wired connection. Okay ba tayo, Nico? Yes po, sir. Sorry, sorry. Ha. Talagang mas pakaramdam ko. Eh. Kailangan ko lang talagang tapusin yung fifth meeting natin ngayon para pag nag-meet tayo ng ano, is HTML na lang. So, other than the questions of Nico, do you have any questions pa po ba? May questions pa tayo? Wala na po. Okay, if you don't have questions, eh, magbibigay na po ako ng final project natin for introduction to computing but before that let's have your ano tawag dito uh screenshot first stop recording